Come on, Jack. I know you're the best in your line of work, but that doesn't mean you get to keep me and the boss waiting. Jack will arrive in his own time, T. For right now, it's just you and me. Boss, I, I wasn't expecting... <laughs> you weren't expecting. You weren't expecting. Dad, do you really think I'd stay away? After the love of my fucking life, ran away the night before our wedding. Boss, you're voice. I just wasn't expecting to see you. She just checked out of the hospital this morning. That meathead has been hanging around her like a puppy. I've been trying to case her routine, but... Then just fucking kill him. What's the problem here? Look, I'm not an assassin. That's Jack shtick. I've had to lay a bit low, seeing as how the plan got botched. I can't believe you got knocked out by some randomer who was trying to be chivalrous. Look, he started flirting with her before I got there, I... Flirting with my sweetheart. Boss. Boss, please, we, we can't cause a scene in the airport, alright? I know you want her back, but she's on high alert now. She may not have recognized me or even grokked that I was anything more than some low-life creep, but if she thinks for a second that the family is coming for her, she'll run. And we'll be right back at square one. You know where she lives? Of course. Good. I have a car waiting Let's go. Did he make her laugh? Um... Was she smiling? Uh... uh fucking bastard! Thinking he could take what's mine. I don't know what else I have to do. How much money I have to spend, how many fucking fights I have to have with her before she understands. I took her in, I gave her everything, and the second she gets a little angry, boom, she runs off. <sighs> you know I'd never lay a hand on her, right? You know me, T. We've been friends for years, not that kind of guy. I had to yell sometimes, but that doesn't make me a fucking monster. Right. Of course, boss. I'm, I'm sure she'll see reason. Do you think I should bring her flowers? Chocolates, maybe? Uh... Nah, you're right. Maybe some jewelry? Aye. I'll get her diamonds. That'll remind her why she fell for me. And that'll be that. She'll come home. Happy wife. Happy life. Um, yeah. It'll... It'll work out, boss. Driver, take this exit and keep following the GPS. We should arrive at her place in 20 minutes. <laughs> that was a blow hard. I better hope he's not there with her. Unless he has mafia connections. He's in for a world of heart. I don't want him to die until he has played in for it. Understood. Yes, sir. No cameras. No guard dog. No alarm system wiring. No nothing. I guess she was a bit too eager to start her new job to set up any security. Doesn't seem like she's home, though. Of fucking course. I stopped by her flowers, all this damn jewelry, and the woman can't even be bothered to greet me. Can you get us into the house? Yeah, one sec. Yeah, this lock is basic as shit. There we are. 
Easy as pie. Alright, you case the front of the house. I'm gonna try and find a bedroom so I can nab her passport. You can't run from me. If the airlines won't let you. <laughs> Good idea. I'll check for electronics. Alright, let's see. Password in place. Smart girl. Let's see if I can pull up the data I pulled from before little Miss Escape Artist decided to run off. Hmm, no good. Hey, boss, do you remember what her password was before? Try I love my hobby 42069, all one word, capital H. Oh, how sweet. She didn't change it. All right, my dear, let's see what we can find out. Jack, that had better be you holding a gun to the back of my head. I was wondering how long it would take for you to realize I was here, Twinkle Toes. Put the gun away, all right? I'm not in the mood for your teasing. Because you got your ass kicked by a local bar rat? Hmm? Got laid out by some random guy? I really hate you sometimes, you know that. And you're going to be torturing that meathead sooner or later. <sighs> really? You called me in to torture and kill some rando? Not me. That would be me, Jack. Christ almighty, boss. Yeesh. I always forget how stealthy you can be. You checked in here without letting me know. I was casing the place, trying to see when she would come home. She'd been away for a day or two did notice that there was a receipt for some kind of ATV trip tucked into a book. I think your Aussie friend must have convinced her to go with him to some kind of off-road romance. <laughs> Jack, that is my fucking wife to be. I want her back, and I want that bastard dead. Do you fucking understand me? Yes, sir. Well, well, looks like the little lady just got home with one Aussie bloke at her side. Good. Both of you, hide until we can block on the exits. I want them cornered. I want them terrified. But don't hurt my sweetheart. Do you understand? Yes, yes sir. sir. Good. Let's take care of business.